Hello YouTube. All right, so today I'm back here at my grandma's pond. I just caught this beautiful bass. I don't know how big he is. He's kind of got caught up in this muck. But uh, yeah, I'm fishing uh, top water with a soft plastic uh, frog. So I'm gonna release him now. Okay, this is a crazy turn of events. I just caught the hugest chain pickerel. Oh my God, it's huge. All right, I'm gonna try and get this guy unhooked. Oh, I do not want to get stabbed by this guy's teeth. These guys are some vicious fish. Wow, and he's really energetic, wow. He's really moving, all right. Here we go. I don't want to get my fingers in its mouth. Right. What is it? It's a huge chain pickerel. There we go. All right. You go get a picture move, of move, move. Oh yeah, I'm videotaping right now. But here, you huge. gotta give it a perspective. Here's my hand. That's my mom's hand. It's huge. Okay. All right. Okay. So that was that was absolutely crazy. Um, that was like a two two three foot long chain pickerel. I threw him back, um, he's fine now. He was bleeding a little bit, so that was sad. But the, the thing fought for like three minutes, no joke, it, it was, and I caught him on a topwater frog. I thought that I had like a 10 pound bass on the line. And what the crazy part is, is that I'm using a trout rod right now to fish, and that has six pound test line on it. So, it, 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 the real is it, it, like how he didn't, completely cut through the line is crazy to me. So I'm just gonna cut the line where it isn't completely frayed by his teeth, or her teeth. Um, uh, and I'm just gonna tie on another frog, but wow, he destroyed my frog. Like, it, it's cut in half, but it, it's, it's crazy, yeah. So, yeah, because I'm just gonna keep fishing for some more bass, uh, hopefully catch a big one. All right, guys, another one on the top water frog. Ooh, I hate putting fish down, but when the hook is in their mouth and they're twisting a lot, you know, it's just what you gotta do. So this is the second bass that I've caught. He's covered in muck, which is kind of sad, but uh, hopefully he gets a clean release unlike the other one. Oh yeah, he's a lively feller. Nope, nope, don't swim into the tree. That's bad. Wow, he just... <sighs> he just does not want to move. There we go. There he goes. Something that keeps happening that's really annoying with these frogs is that, and it's only happening today, like I fished this like before and it's never happened, but the frog keeps getting pulled off the hook. Okay, we're switching to the uh, buzz bait. Okay, nothing on the buzz bait, so uh, I'm gonna go back to topwater frog. Hey, you almost stepped me. Oh, you see that thing jump out there? Yeah. Whoa! You see that ball? Yeah. Catch it? Yeah. Alright, there's one blow up. Okay, so uh, I caught three fish today. That's like okay. But um, tomorrow I will be filming with Davis out on his babysitter's boat. So uh, check out for that. 